Hey folks, uh, Pat Dees, you can see in the background. Well, it's been six months and um, I bit the bullet, or how do you say, swallow my pride, and I paid the fine. Unfortunately, I'm over here at liquidation.com's warehouse, and um, if you look back at one of my past videos, and I'll put it down below where I talk about it, and you know, it was one of those things that, did I want to pay? No, I called several times, and my last pickup was actually, I just got home from Florida. It was a pallet I bought in January, 30, and I picked it up in February. So here we are going into fourth quarter and finding stuff is hard. So again, I had to bite the bullet. So I don't officially got a pallet. What I did was, they call it a pallet, but I bought two big lots of new shoes or shoes that were returned and the price was so damn good that and I'm trying to fix my eBay store I want to put stuff on there that I can make money so I'm up here and uh, I didn't even remember the number I'm up here in Pittston and at the, at the warehouse and I let them know I'm here and, we're, and they're gonna bring it out so I think these are mine these are my shoes these are my pallets these are my orders are these my shoes how are these been Yeah, I was like, I'll try it out. Hey, I definitely could fit those in the car. All right, Eric, I'll see you. Nice seeing you. So, um, yeah, I'm going to take these home, and I'll open them up there. But um, this is what I got, two boxes of shoes. So we're going to um, shoe sneakers and see if it was worth it or not. So let me uh, get them loaded in the car, and then we'll... <laughs> Jeez. Take two. We were, uh, I had my wife to help. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. Uh, it's supposed to be helping me film. And she goes, I don't see the little numbers running. It was on photo. She goes, oh, I thought you had it set up. So take two. So luckily it was only a couple minutes before she realized. But um, I went over to liquidation.com and uh, I paid the stupid $200 fine. But I hadn't bought there since January I picked up my, uh, when we got home from Florida in February, I picked up my pallet over there, but what a mess. I put a link down below talking about that $200 fine, but you know, what am I going to do? I need stuff and, um, some stuff sourcing is hard to find. So I picked up two boxes of shoes and I've never done that before. Here they are. So what I'm going to do, and, um, she's going to film for me and I'm going to show you, they're supposed to be returns. Um, I paid a hundred and I think 35 or 45 dollars. Oh, no. Nah, so 150 dollars with the tax. And then I went and picked it up. So, you know, another 15 dollars in gas. Um, but I, I'm looking for stuff to we're going into fourth quarter and I'm looking to stuff to sell on, um, you know, obviously eBay and stuff that I can make money. Um, I think there's supposed to be 29 pairs of um, shoes. We'll see. All right. So I'm going to have her, I'm going to um, kind of pan down and show what I got in the box. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, post them up on um, my eBay store and basically what the comp, what the sales were. If there is no comps, I'm going to put the list price and, you know, kind of what I, you know, whatever I'm going to put is I what I hope to get or, or the comp sales. So I'll kind of show in the graphic what the difference is. So let's open them up and see what we got for $150. Looks like, the, oh, there's some nice stuff in here. Oh, you know, um, you know, there obviously there's no boxes. It's, it's new, it's new shoes with, um, no boxes. So, um, here is a pair of Nun Bush waterproof night waterproof. I mean, they're nice. Uh, oh, wait a minute. The price tag on them. Can you see inside the shoe there? Forty eight dollars and seventy three cents, and that was fifty seven percent off. So, um, 
I mean, if you if you, if you kind of think about um, it, they're supposed to be twenty nine pair at one hundred and fifty dollars at three times. Uh, tw- you know, that's what six dollars a pair. So, um, come on. I mean, I should I should make money. So I'm gonna pull them out uh, 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 and show you guys, and I'll put them on the table. Twenty nine pair, size ten, nice shoes. Uh, these are Madden. So, so far, I like what I'm seeing. Obviously, um, seeing and selling are two different things. Uh, oh, and I do see, I do see on the bottom, there is a uh, Tom's or uh, these are nice. So if this works out, now these were um, thirty two seventy um, Nordstrom. So these are from Nordstrom. I just got to find the matching one. Unfortunately, sometimes with shoes, you can get the the highest returns. But there's no way at six dollars a pair you can't go to Goodwill and get stuff in this shape there. So these are normally these were on sale for twenty five. So even it, this clearly should be uh, winning. I mean, a little little, but good 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 deal so far. So right, well, I only showed you four pair. Nice pair of boots. Normally forty two dollars. So if this works. I may I may buy. This may be a nice, sometimes that happens to me. I'll go for a while, Kenneth Cole, I'll go for a while and find stuff that, um, in other words, I'll go through a, a, a slow moment and then all of a sudden I'll find something that is a home run. It gives me a little shot of, um, holy shit, uh, not not a shot of a holy shit, but <laughs> sorry about that. Um, just long ass boots there. And um, I'll find stuff that will give me a little boost of cash flow and, um, momentum that oh my god these were comparable value coal hand 250 bucks look at that um 90 dollars so all right let me uh move this off the table real quick uh our table service is but look look what we look what we got so far there all right look now we got ones with a box nine west These, it, 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 I mean, come on. Uh, it's, the risk is uh, this. This I think is going to be a home run, and I'm gonna I'm gonna probably wind up um, every week at at, at one hundred at six dollars a pair, it, even up to ten dollars a pair. Um, this is going to be, uh, I think, a, a, a good. Wow, look at these. And look at look at the design of the logo there on the bottom. Wow, those are nice. I think they had an original tag. Oh, original price two hundred bucks, and they sold them for one forty. But um, yeah, you know what it is 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 these these re shoes have the tendency that you know people know that they can get them and they return them Nordstrom, but um. This is really going to be something, I think, to bring my average up on um, eBay. And, and if I if I get $20 average, uh, I mean, that's turning $150 in the quick math in about $580, $600. Now, not everything's going to sell. I mean, look at these. Um, there's some, but, I mean, brand new in the box, water resistance. We are coming into uh, the winter season here. And the last two pair in this box, ooh, looks like it's going to store them out there. Um, these were uh, $130 brand new, um, $35. They do look like they have a little bit of wear here, but obviously they're new, but some little scuffing. But still, again, even even if I, I get $15 for that and I get $40 for something else, uh, using that $20 average, what were these? These were normally $300 on sale for $130. Um, all saints so all right i'm going to cut the camera real quick because i'm going to put these in a box and then we're going to open the other box but that's the first box that we got there second box so we're going to open up this box and uh the it's a little table so um show you what we got in here you know a lot of times people you got to you got to show the stuff people want to see the videos and see you know and where are you getting from i got these from liquidation.com 
they have, I think, eight warehouses across the United States. But, um, you know, you always, it's always a gamble. You never know what you're going to do. But, you know, again, cheaper than um, cheaper than Goodwill. So now these are normally 40 bucks. The $28 was the clearance price on that pair. Oh, those shiny ones. This was normally 30 These went for 14 Now, there's something I, I probably... 14 I might be able to get 24 Now, this is what I like to see. Adidas. A name brand in a box for kids. I'm not going to sell these on whatnot because, honestly, and whatnot, I might get $10 and... and um, why, why do that on whatnot? Everybody, if you follow me, thinks I'm just a pure whatnot seller anymore. I'm not. The uh, My average sale price on whatnot, it's way too low. Um, if I could pick up a bunch of shoes for $5 and get 15 on average on whatnot, I would sell them there. But right now, no, this is going to be to really fix my eBay store. All right. Um, $110 boots. Sold for $44. So looking at these right now, I could tell you right now, even with before I'm selling them, I am going to be buying more. Um, just because, um, I mean, you go you go, you go, go to Goodwill or Salvation Army, you don't get stuff this nice and good. Again, now look at this. Here's a pair of kids' shoes, Nike, in the box. I mean, Nike brand new in the box. Um uh, I'm, I'm going to be getting 30 bucks for those, no problem. So right there is five times my money. Um, people's Shoes of Italy. Oh, wow, they're cute. Look at those. Aren't they nice? Um, I mean, they got to be uh, tw uh, normal price. It doesn't say. Um, but they got to be 25, 30 bucks in, in the box. It's amazing how much more some people will pay in the box because they don't... You know, oh, someone's lying if it's not in the box. But I know people that sell shoes, and because of shipping, they actually take them out of the box sometimes because, oh, these are nice. Wow, they kind of have a cool cool little um, design to them. Elsa Jacobson. It's amazing how many uh, different shoes they really do make. These were normal price, $129, sold for $48. I mean, they're brand new. Some of these might not even be returns because um, they might be... Uh, it looks like stuff that normally would go to TJ Maxx, but there's probably such a glut that the company right now is just testing out liquidation to see how much they're going for. And um, you, I couldn't go to TJ Maxx and get them that, that cheap. These are nice. These look like uh, winter or uh, boots and uh, cougar, always waterproof. They're heavy. Now uh, these sold for 180, and the price on it's 42. I uh, I think I really could probably get 60 bucks for these myself. I'm gonna put them back in the box because the table's uh, full. Uh, all right, I almost thought we had uh, one shoe here, but no, another pair of. One thing I'm finding is it, they seem to be all women's. All women's shoes are kids uh, in the box. The kids, another nice pair. So I didn't do a shoe count. It don't matter. They're supposed to be 29. Um, I mean, so that would be 15, 14, um, something like that. But, or, you know, either way, it was supposed to be 29. Um, so European size, size 37, but still... Uh, more of that that C Jacobson design, but uh, three different pairs of these, 37s, and two pairs of 38s. Oh wow! Oh look at these, they're nice. It's a nice looking shoe, and uh, look at look at the brochure here. So guys, so guys, tell me what you think. Uh, did I do pretty good or not? I think I did. Give me thumbs up and comment below. I'm back. I paid the $200 fine. I'm going to make some money. Um, and I'm, I'm making more videos. So we are going into the fourth quarter. Some people, if you don't understand re reselling, what people mean is usually, typically, for me, 
typically mid-October to mid-December, those two months are usually typically the busiest. Why? Because people are doing Christmas shopping and people save up for their Christmas club and they're, they're buying stuff. So, And I have the tendency a lot of times to do 50% of my reselling business uh, in the fourth quarter. So uh, fourth quarter is important for me. And um, it's always a, a constant grind about finding good stuff. And um, the, th the key, though, to reselling is, is yeah, you find great deals, but you got to get the stuff listed. 29 items. I'm going to take approximately one, two, three, four. I'm going to take about six photos on every pair of shoes. Top, bottom, one side, other side, in the box. Uh, obviously, if there's no box, there's one or two less photos there. Um, any detail, for example, I want to show you, like um, if there's a special zipper like that, I'll, I'll a little attention to detail. Um, thing, you know, something that stands out or I think is that is important to take in the picture. But um, give give me a like, give me a follow. I'd greatly appreciate it, and uh, I I'm gonna be getting more pallets because I'm gonna uh, follow me on whatnot. If you're new to whatnot. Uh, I'll give you $15 free. There's a link down below. You don't even have to spend it with me. Um, I go by Pat D's on, on whatnot, not the tra not Pat D's, the traveling picker, if you keep it short. Um, but uh, I do appreciate the support. I thank my wife because she's supposed to come out and help me get something out of storage unit. And she goes, you suckered me into filming. So, but I can't hold the camera and, and do it all myself all the time. And, uh, that's always the sort of the like why I don't make as many videos because it's hard kind of trying to do that and, and get the best uh, footage and camera angle. So I will see you again and take care.